the game crashed. I wonder if it's because I'm using a handle to grab it. There we go. Okay, so we're going to be playing some Shadowrun Hong Kong. Now, bear in mind that Shadowrun Hong Kong is set in about 2nd edition, from what I understand. Uh, whereas we're set in about 5th edition. So. Perfect. No! <laughs> perfect. No, yes. Woo! Okay, so I think we're somewhere there. Right. New game. Bonus. What is bonus? Prize import of a final save game from the main campaign. Ah. Too quiet? Too quiet. Do you want it higher? What's the difference between editions? Aha! Uh -huh. Well, for a start, you know, mechanically speaking, uh, fourth edition was kind of a big change. Um, but also, uh, the difference is in Shadowrun, as time goes past in the real world, time goes past in Shadowrun. So when the game was first like brought out like 30 years ago, it was 30 years ago in the timeline. Um, and every year that goes by in real life, you know, a year goes by. So, you know, 5th edition came out three years ago, 20, uh, 2075 was a year, and now it's 2078. Yeah, so the bonus is a free expansion, which I think was the extended edition. Uh, requires import of a final save game from the main campaign. You hunt a police force that hunted you through layers of danger and corporate greed and urban strife. You contend with dangerous enemies and cover a dead conspiracy and cement your reputation as a prime runner, assuming that you survive, of course. Would you like me to play that, or do you want me to just start the, the main campaign again? Like, I have a game that I finished. Like, you know, I played it for fun off, offline. Uh, it wasn't recording, and um, now I'm like, well, I could play from the start if you want me to see, you know, a couple of hours from the start, or if you want me to uh, just jump in and play the extended bit with, like, this new module at the end, uh, I'm happy. So we'll do a little um, poll or something, if Miss Carsonell can. Uh, but yeah, if anyone got any questions and stuff, because we are doing, unless you, <laughs> if you don't know, there's a new channel, twitch.tv forward slash roll for it. Roll is, like, Romeo, Oscar, Lima, Lima, uh, for uh, Indigo Tango. And we play on Wednesday Shadowrun. We play the RPG, the 5th edition. And it's me, uh, Splattercat, Stijo, Avak, and um, Shenrir. And it's, it's great fun. You should totally go check it out. New campaign. New, 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 new. Main again. I mean, we'll have we'll have the, uh, the, the poll up, and then we'll see. Why is my eye, like, hurting? Did I, like, rub something weird in it? There we go. Vote new. Vote the other option. Wow. Really? Choice between vote new and vote the other option? Everyone's going to vote new. Like, no one's going to type in the other option. I think there's some a biased poll there. Pretty sure that's new going for. Oh, my eye. I personally want to the expansion, but the main game's better for people trying to get a feel for it. Yeah, no, I have to agree with you, Um Okay, uh, let us have a look at the poll results. Reliable chat is reliably contrary. Why do you think I said that? You know? Got a biased chat somehow. Um, can you talk about the Shadowrun lore a bit, E? Uh, what do you want me to talk about? Like, anything in specific or just general outline? Like, I'm happy to just feel about Shadowrun for, like, ages. I've got so many of the things as PDFs. Uh, new is 75. Other option is 12. Invalid vote is also 12. <laughs> okay, we'll be doing a, a new one. Uh, we'll play on normal. Chat is making you dizzy. Yes, the law. 
story of the roleplay show. Oh, uh, so the story of the roleplay show is it is set in um, London in 2078 um, in in the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom no longer includes uh, Northern Ireland anymore in the setting. Just FYI. Uh, and large parts of uh, the UK have like had toxic spills and like irradiated from like nuclear power plants just going up. And in this sort of kind of unfortunate United Kingdom, um, you have a load of megacorps vying for power, and of course you have all the different metahumans. So of course you have human, elf, dwarf, orc, and troll, the, the most common uh, metatypes really, um, the actual metatypes as opposed to you know changelings and other sub variants. Um, and London in 2078 in my campaign is a little bit one of these one of these settings where it has been some of the stuff has been nationalized for ages like you know the police etc but very recently with a number of the changes and some political change inside the United Kingdom um, the, the I think they're called like the conservationist party or whatever it's like the equivalent of the conservative party um, have got back into power uh, after a long period of having liberals in power and they're just starting to sell certain parts off and try and recoup some expenses that the government's kind of incurred as a result of the second crash, which happened in 2065. And so corporations are busy grabbing all these contracts that the government used to effectively keep internal, like for instance, policing. Um, and in that sort of circumstance, like all the corporations are like, yeah, I want a piece of this pie. And that's where our runners are set. Chat could decide my race and class. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. We can we can decide my race and class. Like I'm not I won't use an archetype because I want to build it like special. Um pick my meta type. So human, elf, dwarf, orc, or troll. And I'll explain a bit about each meta type as uh Miss Carsonell puts the uh the poll up. But like humans are humans, right? They're pretty boring and vanilla. Are they a good place to learn uh Sharon history and law of lawn? Uh th that's the problem. That's why I've done little videos about it, because there isn't, actually. There are, you know, there's some places. You can pick it up from a few places. There's a wiki and stuff. The wikis are not great. Like, they don't have a lot of interlinks between pages. So, you know, when you go on a wiki and you, like, you know, you open a million tabs, the Shadow Wiki is a bit harder to do because a lot of the stuff, like, has information on it. It's got a lot of information. The problem is it's just not a lot of it's linked to other pages like it should be. You know, I probably should help because, you know, it's a wiki. I should, you know, go through when I see that and help, but I'm busy. Um... <laughs> That's a terrible excuse. Um, but uh, I can explain something about this Shadow and Lore, and to be honest, there are a few good places, you know, especially like the Shadow and Reddit. I will say, without a doubt, the Shadow and Reddit is amazing. Like, forward uh, r slash Shadow Run, really, really nice Reddit. Like, I really don't like Reddit much because um, it can be a bit weird, uh, but the Shadow and Reddit so is just amazing. Just go there. Um, they're really open and helping like people get into the game and stuff. Like, no one just goes, oh, you're a noob. Um, so it's really good. Uh, but yeah, so, humans, uh, they're humans. Um, they're pretty boring. Uh, elves, a bit more charismatic, a bit more agile, um, and along with dwarves, they change. Like, just people started being born as them in about, I think it was 2011, when mana came back to the world and this magic sort of came through. Uh, dwarves, a little bit more resistant to certain poisons and stuff and diseases, uh, a bit hardier, um, also a little bit short. Um, then you get orcs and trolls, and orcs are a bit tougher, a little bit less clever and less uh, charismatic, and trolls are, like, ridiculously tough. And like strong and also uh, less charismatic and less thinky. And those two initially, like it was in like 2022 or something, I can't remember, 2024 maybe? Maybe it was 2016. It might be 2016. Um, like people just randomly turn into them just over the course of like a couple of days. Um, and then they started being born. And some people still turn into them, but that's when just some of the population just went, just turned into them. Um, when like the ambient manner gets high enough. Um, so we can choose between basically being human, which, you know, you start off with, like, extra experience points. Elf, it's more about charisma in this game, uh, although in 5th edition they do have more quickness and stuff. I think they've got a maximum quickness, which is higher. Yeah, they've got 11 maximum, whereas everyone else is 9. Um, dwarves, they're a bit tougher. You can see their body's gone up, which is, like, their toughness. Strength is higher. Willpower is higher. Orcs, you can see that their body's, like, up to 14 there. Strength is 12. Intelligence is down 1. And trolls have, like, body 17... Uh, cap, strength 15. So if we want to do like melee trolls, bam, really good. Uh, if you want to do, you know, gun stuff, elves are good. Um, humans are good for pretty much everything. I, although I'd say because trolls outstrip them so much at melee, I'd say troll. Orcs are basically like a, a slightly lesser troll in that effect. So um, they're, you know, they don't have the full advantages of the troll, but they don't have as many disadvantages. Humans are kind of standard deviation. Yeah, pretty much Brella, pretty much. Oops. 
Um, but yeah, people tend to be like really racist against like, well, because like elves are like, oh, they're so beautiful and charismatic. Like people aren't racist really against elves very much. I mean, other, apart from other meta types who like get pissed at them for like being accepted where they aren't. Dwarves, you know, they're hardworking, etc. Blah blah blah. I mean, they're especially seen as like blue collar workers and stuff. Like you know, in the UK, people are just like, yeah, you know, dwarves, yeah, they're fine. A little bit of like, you know, racism towards them being short and like people sometimes look down at them because, you know, they're like, oh, you're a kid. And it's like, no, you're actually a dwarf. Like you, you know, you could be like 50. Um, but then like orcs and trolls really do get looked down on, especially because like they're lower intelligence and because, you know, they're slightly look different facially. Uh, and because orcs don't live for very long, they're like maximum age is like, well, not maximum age, their they're average age of death is like 35. Partly because they like... Oh, el dwarf and elf are tied. And human. Dwarf, elf, and human are tied. What? Uh, new poll. Dwarf, elf, human. Um, I assume we're not doing melee then. Like, uh, we can do... Sh elves make good shamans in this game, not in the other one. Well, I guess, yeah, in 5th edition they do make reasonable shamans. Um, humans are good at everything. Dwarves, you know, you can do a lot with a dwarf. Especially with willpower. I mean, they make good hackers. Um... And, like, people, people like, orcs get the, the rough end of the stick. So you do tend to get, because, you know, uh, orcs get crappy social lives and stuff, because, you know, they you know they look different, and because their intelligence isn't as high, or at least doesn't have to be as high, they've got a lower cap. Um, people assume that, you know, oh, you know, you know, they're not as good. And they end up in these, like, horrible social situations where, like, they're like, the crappy housing and the crappy jobs, which means that they're more likely to go into crime and stuff, and then they have all these stigmas against them. Um, it's like, it's almost like like the, the worst parts of like racist racism in like America, um, like the worst parts of that, and then exaggerated a few fold. But with the fact that you know, orcs are actually slightly different to the rest of metahumans. I mean, they are slightly less intelligent on average. Um, they are slightly you know shorter lifespans. Well, actually quite short lifespans, like half a human's lifespan. Um, but then they get like really segregated because of this. And so you get, like, this extreme racism coming out against, you know, well, humans are just generally racist. Like, it's not even, like, remotely hidden. Um, just because people are like, huh, oh, you're an orc. I mean, you're obviously not good. Um, but yeah. So, elf, human, dwarf. Let's see what the results of the poll are. Dwarf and elf are tied. What? 52 votes and we still tie. Racist Americans turn up to Donald Trump. <laughs> Jedi Minor. Uh, that would be like Senator Brackhouse uh, in some of the modern storylines. Yeah. A little bit. Um, yeah, let's do another elf and dwarf off. Like, to be honest, because this is what designed our, our playstyle. If we go elf, we can be a shooter or we can be a magic -y person. If we go dwarf, we can still go magic. We can go hacker. Um, we could, to extent, do a few other things, but not maybe as good. Um, also, Elf gives you charisma options, so you can be like, get out of social situations a little bit easier. They get a three etiquette, I believe. Um, so we'll vote between those two. Trolls don't get as much of the racism. Like, people go, huh, you're a troll, you're stupid. But also, people respect them because they're a troll. They're eight foot tall. I'm seven, six to eight foot six, so, you know. Um... They have natural one armor. They have long arms that have extra reach. They have, you know, ridiculous toughness and strength. Like, even your weakest troll is almost, like, Olympic strength, like, wrestler or whatever. So, well, for a human. So how do you get to this point in the show to jack the van? So how did you get to the point in the show to jack the van? Um, okay, so, oh, you want us to how the meat went like stuff. Okay, so basically, I'll explain about Shadowrunners. Let's just see what the result of the poll is, and then I'll explain about Shadowrunners and how they get work and stuff. Um, yeah, people are racist towards trolls, but not to their face, <laughs> pretty much. You don't want to be racist towards a troll's face. Uh, elf, right. People want elf. Okay, in which case, you can do a choice between, uh, we could go magic, of which there are a couple of types. 
I probably won't go Shaman, just because... Eh. Um, or we could go Shooty. So we'll go Elf. And I'm going to be... Ooh. This almost look like a ghoul. Yeah, we'll go with you. And we'll go with a nun. I'm going to custom build the archetype. Hairstyle. No, 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 no. Why well, have I got all the female hairstyles? There we go. Let's get something crazy. Beard. <laughs> we'll go without the beard. Vote shooty, vote da <laughs> vote Daka, vote magic. I mean, we could have gone adept troll, which is adept is like channels the power through them to make themselves like stronger and stuff. You could adept troll, it's like I will hit things, smash. Wall is gone. Um, right, I just need to do a quick thing on the skypes. Check that. Yes, it just went up. Okay. Uh, right, so let's close that and see what it is. What do we get for the poll? Oh, we can talk about Shadowrunners. Oh, we've got an incoming steed, Joe. Oh, no! <laughs> Run away! He will shoot the old ladies. He will shoot all the old ladies. Shooty, 6% magic, 33. Ooh, Shooty, Shooty wins by quite a mark. Okay, we'll be we'll be going Shooty then. Um, yeah, that's that's a Shooty face if I ever saw one. Okay, continue. Uh, right, so body gives you the ability to have like cyberware and stuff. Uh, so we can unlock additional cyberware like the hand raiser cyber weapon, etc. Um, spurs. Uh, like this is what like the monofilament whip. It's not really a side weapon, but okay. Um, body gives you, like, additional HP. Uh, not really what we need right now. Quickness, which is also related to our, you know, uh, shooting abilities. Now, these are not the stats in 5th um, edition. 5th edition has 8 stats. And I really like their stats, right? They've got body and strength, so that's your toughness and, you know, your strength. They have agility, which is, you know, uh, your actual speed when you react to something. Like, once you've reacted to it, that's the speed at which you act. And also, guns and stuff. Then you've got reaction, which is, like, how quick you react to someone when you notice something. You're like, ha! Which is used in, like, initiative and stuff, and it's also used in uh, driving. You're like... Uh, then you've got the four um, other ones, which are your mental ones. So you've got intuition, which is, like, I think there's something behind me. And then I see it and react. And that's used in your uh, dodging and stuff, like reaction. It's also used for stuff uh, similarly like um, initiative. And also you can use it for some, you know, like intelligent stuff. Like you don't have to be intelligent, like learned intelligent, but you could be streetwise, which is you have intuition, right? You're not on the street. You probably have intuition. You maybe don't have intelligence. Then they've got like this logic, which is the intelligence. As you normally have it, which is logic is like learned stuff and whatever. You probably a major have that. Then you've got willpower. He used to resist drugs and stuff, and as a mage, to resist, like, drain. And then, finally, you've got charisma, which, as you probably know, is your charisma. Uh, right, so let's grab at least three points in quickness. Three points in dodge to avoid damage. Range combat. Which point I grab this. And then we need to choose what weapon we're going for. So we can have a pistol, an SMG, a shotgun, or a rifle. Um... I mean, they're all reasonably good. Uh, I would say if you go pistols, you just generally have to sink a lot of power into pistols and then just ignore the other ones. SMG, honestly not a massive fan. I tend to be like shotgun and rifle are really good. So it's either you want to go pistols hard 
or split shotgun rifles, or maybe to an extent you could go rifle and maybe a little bit else. But depends what people want. What, what does chat think? I'm not going to take a poll on this. I just want to just get chat's uh, feel. Rifle, rifle. Rifle, rifle. Yeah, that's, chat wants rifle. Full rifle. Oh, God. Okay. Right there. We've got full auto. Uh, we could get dead eye. We could get headshot, etc. Now, that's limited by our quickness. So, uh, basically, range combat's limited by our quickness. And rifle's limited by range combat. So, there you go. Uh, and we can get Overwatch if we spend some more points. Bam. Um, I'm almost up to five. Uh, strength. Don't really need that. It's about throwing weapons, close combat, melee, unarmed. Honestly, not a lot of use to us. Uh, intelligence, decking, not really a lot of use to us. Willpower. Again, not really a lot of use to us. Martial defense, etc. Quick stride, focus attacks and stuff. Mostly, like, melee stuff. And then there's charisma. And I think what we'll do is we'll grab a little bit of charisma um, just to get some etiquettes. Although we don't have to get etiquettes. I mean, we could just uh, ignore these. Now, charisma also means that you get, like, the ability to conjure stuff if you put points into those. But, you know, we've said we're not going to do magic, so we're going to avoid that. We could just go charisma. Um, or we could just ignore it entirely and just go pure shooty, get a few points of body. I will get a few points of body, by the way, just to be able to give us some defense. Okay, there's plus one additional essence unlocks eviscerator for raise hands and spurs. Um, could go for it. Uh, the interface skill system. How is similar this to the tabletop? Um, it's more sort of uh, old school RPG meets the second edition tabletop. So it's a bit different from Thief. Get charisma, be the face. See, that's what I always play in RPGs. Unless everyone else has gone charisma, and I'm like a veteran RPG, and they're new people, and I'm like, I want to give them some like space. So yeah, we'll grab that. We get a three etiquette. We can choose academic, shadow, and a social like gang, security, or corporate. Uh, they're all fairly useful, generally. Um, there'll be like a couple of points in the campaign where you can use almost each one. Uh, there's at least one for each, I think. Um, at which point you can be like, ah, I have academic. And then you can maybe get past the situation or you can uh, get more money for stuff you find or whatever. Could become caper. Oh, God, if I go some low magic as well. Oh, no. No, I don't want to shoot the old people in the head. Health socialite, yep. I'm I'm that I'm that terrible person. Runner corporate security. Stone waves! It's going well. How are you? Let's let's get uh Shadow Runner and then we'll try and get this corporate security. Oh, I've only got three available. Oh, I can't get that. Right. I've got eight left. I could get like some cyber affinity. Could up my quickness. I could oh up done my dodge. There we go. And there we go. One left. Done. In fact, let's let's take these points off. Let's just sink the body. We'll get cyber later. Done. And etiquette. Uh, we were going for shadow run, and then security wasn't it. First name, last name, street name. First name, last name, and street name. Well, I'm going to use this handy app on my phone. Which, by the way, as a GM, this is such a useful app. Uh, where is it? R-N-G. Random name generator. And I can like be like, right, English, Spanish, French, Italian, Chinese, Russian, German, Japanese, Arabic, blah, 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 blah. I'll go English name. And then we can hit male or female. We are male. Our name is Lucas Kelly. I don't like that name. Dexter Lewis. Meh. William Lloyd. Joseph Parker. Jonathan Clark. Oliver Russell, Kian Griffith, Carl Robinson, Harry Morris, Christopher Patel, Landon Clark, Charlie Lee, Jacob Knight. There we go, we're Jacob Knight. Jakob Knight 
and our street name is... Someone give me a cool street name for an elf, which is a little bit charismatic and tops around with a rifle. Do you really want to die, Nanon? Anyone who gets into my series is dead. The given. Twitch the street name. Yeah, yeah, we could go Twitch. White Knight, I don't know, that's a little bit racist. Twitch. There we go. See? It also works because we're on Twitch. Yeah, Valon, it's a generic name. It just doesn't have to be a real name, remember? You have one new message. Uh, hi. It's Raymond. I hope I have the right number. Look, I know we haven't spoken in a while, but I need your help. Remember the day I took you and Duncan off the streets? I told you that the past is just a story. That if you can just accept that, your past loses all power over you. Yeah. <laughs> I was wrong. I wish there were subtitles. I'm on my way to Hong Kong now. To finish something I should have faced a long time ago. And you. I need you with me. I know we're not blood, and we didn't leave things in a good place. But you and Duncan are the only real family I have. Please. If our past means anything to you, meet me in Hong Kong right away. I'll explain more when you get here. I'm begging you. out of time. Okay, so I meant to explain about Shadow and wasn't I? Hard landing, Raymond Black. The old man gave you a home once. Took you and Duncan off the gang right in the streets of the Barrens. Sheltered, educated, slapped some sense into the both. Until you almost resembled productive members of society. And then you took off. Left it all behind. Landed behind bars for time. Tried to start a new life after that. It's been eight years since you've heard Raymond's voice. Until out of the blue, you got this cryptic message. A plea for help. Meet me in Hong Kong. Right away. And why would you count enough nine to pay for the flight and then some? The descent is rough. A squall comes out of nowhere, sending a solid sheet of rain punching into the suborbital transport. With a ragged shudder, the plane finally skids to a halt at the edge of Cheklam Kok Tarmac. An hour later, an interminable number of emotionless security checkpoints later, you hail a water taxi to Victoria Harbor. Hong Kong looms ahead, pulsating with energy. Ugh. It's gonna, it's gonna do my throat. Um, so yeah, Shadowrun is basically deniable operatives hired by mega corporations, generally, other people as well. But because mega corporations want to be like, I want to sabotage my rival, and I don't want to make it look like it was me. I also have to change where my head is right now, I realize that. Um, <laughs> can I mail you some tea? I mean, tea is amazing. Right, um, camera, camera, border. Shift you down. Put you, put you here. Yeah, just go straight to the bottom. Oh, and I need to change that. Okay, sweet. That was an interesting voice. Just pictures of tea. Are people, people pro or negative that voice like? What's my favorite kind of tea? Probably Yorkshire, because I'm boring. Um, oh no, strategist, no, bye. Um, so yeah, 
Shadowrun is basically denial of is often hired by things like being a corpse because the mega corpse want to screw up ever mega corpse, but they can't be caught doing it because then the corporate court will kind of be like, yeah, you shouldn't do that. Um, so they hire Shadowrunners. And then Shadowrunners do the job, which might be blowing up something, or it might be stealing something, or it might be extracting a scientist who happens to work for a different corporation, but they want to work for them. And they take them away. Um, what's with this, the, what's this second crash? Okay, so the first crash happened in 2034, uh, where the internet died, um, and then they came up with this, like, um, sort of, uh, augmented reality, virtual reality, graphic-based network for the next one. And then in 20, 2064, 2065, one of the two, um, the second crash happens, uh, basically an AI goes like crazy in the internet and tries to ascend to godhood at the same time as like this company is giving like its initial like stock offering um which is like a lot of people online and it's like ah, i will use all the powers and then some people get trapped inside the matrix and uh, some people like just like their bodies die but they the mind goes into the matrix and it gets really weird um and, like the entire system gets kind of broken and then they build it back afterwards in a wireless format with like all these wireless peer-to-peer -peer networks so basically like every device is part of the matrix and supports its infrastructure which makes it more like uh modular and robust and in theory you can't kill it although i imagine you could using some sort of like overflow um what's it called where it keeps going like overflows from one dice to the next to the next like a coruscating chorus you know what I mean. So basically GLaDOS. Uh, no. More like evil god EMP. Uh, a lot of it is fiber optics, Jedi Miner. Um, so EMP would do some, but not everything, because a lot of the matrix is based off fiber optic networks. Cascading. That is it. Lieutenant David Pulsar. Cascading failure. I imagine you could do that. Like, I, if they're going to do a third crash, that would be it. Um, so I'm going to... Stack overflow exception, pretty much. Steamio, thank you very much. Um, Ultron. Yeah. No, it wasn't interested in having a physical body at all. Um, York is the real capital of England. It's actually the capital of the North. Strictly. I mean, it's not anymore. But it was in medieval times. Uh, so I'm going to just read this, and then if any other questions pop up, I'll do it as we continue on. You step from the churning water taxi, the ponderous rock in the docks. Your stomach lurching at the transition. As soon as you're clear, the captain nods once and steers the small craft back into the harbor. The man never said a word. Just handed you a worn paper, a worn brown duffel bag when you stepped on board, filled with gear. Some stiff new body armor and a note. Better safe than sorry. D. Above, smog, thick clouds hang low in the sky. Reflecting the lights of the city in a nauseating swirl. The wind changes direction more than once, creating a heady stew of aromas. Diesel, sea salt, street food, and filth. It's all you can do to keep your in-flight meal where it belongs. It's my, it's my noir voice, you know? I thought, you know, it's, it's a noir sort of type thing. Two figures stand, waiting in the dim light of the pier. The first is an orc, lean with your... In your face, muscles and a jaw are made of great fists. The second is an elf, one hand resting casually against her hip. Red and black is nowhere to be seen. Well, you don't, you look like shit. Duncan Wu, the closest thing around his brother. You haven't seen the man in eight years, still as charming as ever. I will actually have to stop doing that voice, it is killing my throat, or will kill my throat. Um, he grins. Green's not really your color, Jacob. Doesn't go with the nice new armor I got you. As you open your mouth to respond, something shifts, alarming your stomach. A liquid bubbling sensation. I could throw up, or I could body three, tough it out. Don't know where you're talking about. Must be the harbor lights messing with you. Yeah. Must be. Guess he's in some of your old fortitude at least. He laughs. Consider how much since I used to put down. I'm surprised you can handle a little chop. Anyway, we've got to go find Raymond. Where's the old man? He's still that same baritone rasp. Had it since he was 12. Woo, developed early. I mean, he's an orc. He'd tend to be, like, mature by the age of, like, 14 or whatever. Like, hit puberty at, like, 10. Um. Wait. 
like Cochrane, just do the control, few sets industry, arms, etc. They're all round. Pavel, they're pretty much all round. Like, the me there's a lot of corporations, right? There's a, there's a tiered system to a corporations. Like, you have your triple A's, then you have your double A's. Those are megacorps. Triple A's, there's only 10 of them, and there can only be like 10 of them unless you promote someone else to the corporate corp, which is very unlikely. And they have seats on the corporate corp. They decide big things. Um, then there's like your A's, then there's like your double B, B, and stuff like that below. The trashed it. It's not trashed it, they're still pretty big. Uh, double A's and triple A's have like extra territoriality, so like any uh, like pro like uh, facility they own, provided they fulfill some requirements, um, like that. That basically means like if you're on the territory, like laws don't apply. Like they have their laws. It's their like it's an embassy, right? It's not like technically part of the United Kingdom. It's part of uh, say the crop land or whatever. Um, and then there's, like, you know, megacorps and stuff, and they, they own pretty much, you know, everything, or have, you know, they own corporations below them at different tiers, and they all own different bits. They own, most of them own something and everything, right? But some of them have more particular things. Um, so, uh, like, as technology is really big into agriculture, but they also are into magic pretty heavily, and PR, and then they do a little bit of everything else. Um, who are the Lone Star that everyone hates? They are a double A, I believe it's a double A corporation called Lone Star Security Services. Uh, they provide security services, a lot of police and stuff to different regions. And they're basically uh, corporate security, corporate policing. Um, have I heard of the Neocanist podcast? I have, I just haven't had a chance to listen to it. But yeah, I've heard of it. It's, it's a pretty uh, pretty famous one as far as I'm aware. Did you try one calm? No clue where it might be. What was the last time I saw him? No sense telling around. Where's the meeting place? There we go. There's no point standing around. Not far. Just inside the pier here. Each other's are from behind him. We're standing back. We should get going, Duncan. Head back to the meeting point in case your dad shows up. Copy that, Sarge. Wearing Lone Star body arm looks like Duncan Wu's gone private police. See, he's a Lone Star. Yeah, no, Sitting Dark HD, you're right about seeing the dice. The issue with seeing the dice is a couple of things. Firstly, I have to keep flicking with the green screen options to actually try and make that work. Like, I have to keep zooming in that if we flick to different pages. And people like me flicking different pages. And secondly, the dice, because there are so many of them in Shadowrun, they will cover people's faces. And that kind of sucks. Um, so I don't know about that. You do see the dice when we're on the, the actual, like, you know, when we're in a battle or everyone we've got the game board up. But otherwise... Um... Your partner? Unfortunately, yes, although partner's not the right word for it. Exactly. I like superior officer better. She grins. I let him carry my coffee for me, write my parking tickets, that kind of thing. Carter. Figured I could use some backup. Didn't know what Raid got himself into, and I'm not sure you were going to show up. There's an uncurrent resentment in it. Of course I showed up. Well, wasn't so sure, you know. I'm glad you're here, Jacob. Seriously, but I'm going to be around some time having you been around. It's been a while since I heard from you. you know what I mean? Memory soups, nights, and lock up, flash up. Wondering if you ever see Duncan or Raymond again. Wondering if you ever wanted to. Um, stuck in the daylight. Suddenly, three. The fallout of some obscure corporate restructuring. A few hundred nine worth of apology from your former jailers. And a decision to start a new life. To leave the past behind. All of it until now. I know I've been out of touch. Yeah, you could say that. Let's just find Raymond. He's on the other side of us in the plaza on the other side of the pier. Soon I can get a place to get a drink around here. Damn right. Uh, Hong Kong, right? Serpent light from the sea. Government and Megcorp called together. Arriving in the basket of institute of corruption, no one can tell whether Ray, uh, the snake's body ends and where its tail begins. And that's what Raymond used to say. Duncan turns and starts on the pair. Carter follows. Excellent. Now we have the ability to move. Um, Uh, question from Mace. Exactly which version of Roll for It, Shadowrun, or are you just in the rules? Because the glitch is different in the rulebook. Uh, I may have got glitch wrong. I'll have to double check. Is it you need more ones than half instead of you need half? Because that's where I get confused. Um. Uh, let's go on. Is there a way to show dice at the bottom of the screen instead of seeing the actual roll itself? Uh, that would leave all faces dice three, and we'll be able to see them. Um, 
sort of effectively I'd have to just do a small pitch and pitcher, and it still means that I need to alter it and stuff. And when the dice get that small, you've got the dice balls of shadow run. My issue is I don't know if you'd be able to see it that well, especially on mobile devices. That's the issue. Might be worth considering though. I'll, I'll bring it up, but uh, that's a giant wall. I don't think that's how we're going to get out of here. I think we'll try the small one. Like only show the numbers below. Oh, we can show the numbers probably quite easily. But the problem is that uh, the, the height of the message is variable depending on how many numbers there are. So my overlay would have to have like a massive chunk. But I could do that. Uh, what's the economic situation? How does the shadow run currency compare to real world? A um, hundred pounds, like how much Noyan? Um, Noyan is spelt uh, November Yankee. No, November Uniform Yankee Echo November. Um, and for reference, I guess like two Noyan would buy you like a cup of coffee. So we like you know four quid, five quid if you're buying it from like Soy Bucks or somewhere. Oh, I have to go up to here first. Okay. What's that using to do the rolls? Uh, roll 20. I think it's to get a push, but it doesn't budge. Well, I don't think it would budge if you push it. Huh. Well, that was open earlier. Looks pretty solid. Guess we'll find another way out. Guess so. Strange there's no one here, though, isn't it? Who knows? It's Hong Kong. Not exactly sure how things work around here. Come on, Rocky. We can cut through the construction site. I hate it when you call me that. I like her. How many successes equal to 15 in old roll for it? Um, it's different because you, you need successes rather than a single dice roll cumulative. Uh, the equivalent is one success is easy, two successes is medium, three successes is hard. So, um, I spot the films. You mean soy cap? That's the one. Yeah, soy cap. Oh, there we go. That's the security checkpoint. Uh, I cannot crack that. I will let you do the cracking. Got it. Let's go. Um, Shadow basis it'll be good. It's confusing. I think definitely at some point explanation mechanics will be good for people. Uh, yeah, okay. I could do a basics of the mechanics video. Oh, movement. Okay, so basically the idea currently is that you've seen like the, the one little video which is like this is what Medcorp is, this is what Shadowrunner is. Um, I was going to do like a couple more of those, one of which is the introduction to the runners themselves when we get the artwork back, another which is like introduction to meta humanity and magic. Um, Leo shouts something in Cantonese, but it's too far to make out. Oh, it's too fast to make out. You guys doing some late night fishing? Oh yeah, we fishing for the assholes. I don't know why they're German. Um, you need some better bait, or you're going to catch with that is trouble. We're just passing through. Put your guns away. Hey, you thought good Cantonese, baby. Real authentic. Actually, you just told me you are going to crap a gun. Lone Star, put down the guns. Never seen a badge like that before. Either it's fake or you're just going to get a security guard. Either way, I, his accent is just constantly changing, to be honest. I think he's done talking. I like her. Uh, yeah, I know how to do this. Um, right, so we need to find cover. So that's like half cover. Half cover, half cover, and this guy over here will probably try and flank us. Uh, annoyingly, I can't really get to any decent cover that like protects me against any like full flanks, so I'm gonna go here for now. And aim shot increases actually by 15%. Yeah, let's hit that guy. Go here. We get full cover. Yeah, one down. Carter. Right, she's got stripped armor. None of those guys have got armor. Heal wound. Armor, target his armor. Aim. Yeah, aim on, aim on me. Ow! Don't break my armor. Okay, we want to move forwards. And then I can only get ready to get a single shot off, so I'm not going to try hitting you. 
good. Oh, that was pretty terrible, actually. Oh, nice! Ow, no! Your flank! No! Don't go down! Don't go down! Full auto the mage. Oh yeah, mage down! I would really move up, but I... Music seems to have got louder. Let me have a quick look. I'll increase it a little bit. There we go. Okay, that should be better. Very odd. And aim it. And sink it. You're in battle, you pretty much need music. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're in a battle and you don't have music, you're kind of doing it wrong. To be fair. Oh, hello, hello, hello. And legal drug. Uh, yes, I will take it. Any more questions about shadowy stuff? We better find another way. We don't want to go through the razor wire. Or you can... Yeah! She's competent. In Cantonese, Jacob. She's competent in Cantonese. I know, she runs the right squad I'm assigned to. Do, 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 do. We only speak Cantonese from now on. Which is a great way of being like, we're going to speak in Cantonese from now on. Uh, without actually even speaking in Cantonese. What about the Matrix? Uh, what about it? It's the internet. But, like, you can VR it, you can have it in AR, you can... Like, it's all graphic and icon based. And AI is basically augmented reality, those of you who don't know. Like, having overlays in your vision, and you can, like, have someone calls you, and, you, like, like, the face pops up, and you're like, oh, yeah, I'll answer that. And then, like, you can talk to them and stuff, if you have, like, an earbud or headphones or whatever. Or a direct neural jack that just puts a sensation into your head. Like, that works. Corporations run government. Yeah, to an extent. They would just let them exist, because they don't want to do the, the dirty work. They're like, ah, I don't want to take out the trash. That should be your job. Um, won't be a problem. At least you can handle yourself in a fight. Sure. Uh, yeah. Got it. Okay. Just long, awkward silence. 